in those months when I was pregnant, all around this same time, so we have in tandem the conversation of, he won't be given security, he's not gonna be given a title. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? And who, who is having that conversation with you? What? So, um, there is a conversation. Hold up, hold up. There's Stop several. Right now. There are several conversations. There's a about conversation it. with you, with Harry, about how dark your baby is going to be, potentially, and what that would mean or look like. A few hours ago, I'd have said to you, "I think the palace will essentially ignore this and need to be business as usual." That's gone out of the window. That cannot be, you know, they cannot ignore what's just happened. I mean, from, well, on so many levels, you know, the family has now been accused of racism. Somebody very close to Harry um, has, has been named and shamed as a racist. Look, I was really ashamed to say it at the time and ashamed to have to admit it to Harry, especially. Um, because I know how much loss he suffered. Mm -hmm. But I knew that if I didn't say it, that I would do it. And I, I just didn't, I just didn't want to be alive anymore. The mental health policy within the royal household has been brought into question in a major way. Um, the, um, the lack of, um, support for family members on a security level has been um, brought front and center. Um, I just think there are, you know, if these accu accusations were leveled against a business, um, it would be, um, it would have to be investigated. Uh, and this is one of the biggest businesses, one of the biggest brands in the world. Uh, I mean, it is, the palace have, I, I just don't see how they cannot respond to this. They're going to have to.